All right, Antonio, your box has arrived uh, as we've communicated. Uh, so I want to get this opened up and see what we have in store. Get your process started. Okay. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Okay. Well, you don't see these very often, I have to say. They are quite rare. So this is a 1974, July of 74, 6138040, 0040, um, the black dial variant. Very cool. A little something here. Not sure what that is. That's all right. Now you have a broken stem, I can see. So let's take a look at what came along. Aha, okay, so you have an aftermarket uh, crown stem combination, so that's good. Good, good, good. Well, uh, first impressions are pretty good. You've got, you know, what you like to see basically is this good, um, hmm, good loom overall. I'm going to check and see if we're running here. Uh, before we get too deep. But let's just go over cosmetics first. <clears throat> so your um, your sweep hand, chronograph sweep, is not resetting to zero. Um, not sure why, but we'll check that very closely and see what we've got. Um, you've lost loom here on your, on your minute hand. Uh, we can replace that for sure. I'll try and do it in such a way that we match to your uh, hour hand as much as possible. Keep the consistency of the color, at least of the loom. Um, but overall, you know, your case has not been polished, although the watch has been worn quite a bit. You can see there's some, you know, just marks of wear and use. Um, there's quite a bit of uh, material. We're going to replace the crystal, I assume. Um, it's pretty rough, although it's probably an original uh, Hardlex crystal from the era. Let's see if you have any case back markings of proof of service. And then we can also take a close look at the movement here. Okay, so I don't see any anything in the case back. Um, the other issue that we often find when things like stems are missing is that there's rust. And so, because there's no seal on the crown, you can see moisture has gotten in at some point uh, around either a pusher or that part of the movement. It doesn't look like it's moved too far in, although the movement is a little hazy. Um, let's see, are you currently running? Let's see. Yes, so it is running. That's a good sign. Um, running is good. What's interesting to me is that I can always tell that somebody's been in trying to adjust things that are uh, clearly not within the realm of adjustment. These two posts should not be so close together. So we may find that 
uh, as we get things freed up and, and serviced that we'll be able to adjust out uh, the position of the stud and the, and the adjusting arm. Uh, but you are running, so that's a good sign. Got some definite dirt inside of here. That should not be here. Okay. Um, well, you know, it's a starting point. You've got some, some dirt. I don't think this is necessarily corrosion on your ceiling surface, so that's a good sign as well. Um, yeah, this seal is, is, is a piece of plastic, uh, so it definitely needs everything. But we knew that. That's why you're here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> chronograph does work, so that's good. So we're going to let that turn around a little bit. I'm always a bit hesitant to uh, do anything to chronograph uh, hands to get them back to zero if they're original. If they're replacements, then there's no, no gain or no loss um, in, in trying. I, I have a technique where I can try and uh, refit the tube uh, to fit in the right place, rekey the tube essentially to the chronograph wheel. Unfortunately, they are keyed together uh, permanently, um, but you know there might be ways of, of doing things. Now, it looks to me, if I look very closely at the shape of your, your sweep hand, it is a little bent which can come from a few different sources. Somebody was in there, had the watch out of the case maybe, um, did some adjusting, I, I'm not sure. But it is certainly um, a little bit distorted, so that's something to keep in mind. All right, let's get it close to zero and then see if you click over. Okay, so you are clicking over but not returning back. You're about a minute off from vertical. All right, well, we'll, we'll take a close look. We'll see what we can do. All right, well, um, I can check the numbers. I'm not really confident that we're gonna get great numbers to start with, but we'll, we'll see. We haven't really put any power in and we can't really wind it other than with the automatic winding assembly. Maybe a look here. But the you know, signal is as to be expected, a little bit off, a lot off. Um, I don't trust that 249. Not sure that's a real number. Yeah. It's a little too messy to have anything in that range. Sometimes it gets confused by what the real number is. <laughs> Not sure that is right, considering all the other stuff that's going on. Um, all right, well, we'll see. We'll see where we are. All right. Uh, so we'll get started, and I, I'm going to assume that there's going to be good news. Um, we'll have uh, full service worked up, and see if we can see if we can get it looking great. All right. Thank you very much. Your watch is safe and in uh, in hopefully capable hands. <laughs> Thanks, Antonio.